Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be doing a small kind of haul. I'm just kind of like introducing myself as kind of like a starting nail tech or whatever. Um, I kind of just wanted to answer your questions and I know a lot of you guys have been asking and have been wondering like what's up with me and my new hobby. It's actually not just a hobby. It's something that I actually do want to take more serious. Well, I am taking serious and it's something that I want to grow on. So I just kind of wanted to go through and answer some questions for you guys and then show you guys what I have bought. So before I get into it, I do want to ask you guys to please subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notifications, and stay tuned because I have way more of these videos if you guys are interested. Um, okay, so a lot of you guys have been asking how or why I wanted to get into the nail, uh, I don't know, industry. and and I know it's kind of like okay that's so weird like why would you want to do nails you know um, so I've always had a thing for nails if you guys know me you guys always saw me with my, with my nails done it was something that I just loved doing I would love getting pampered and getting my nails done was always like a must for me um, and then just recently me nació la idea like I don't know it just I was thinking and I was like that would be a really good idea like not only is it something that you know I have um, so I have a little backstory in high school um, I actually did my friend's nails and my mom my mom bought me like a little little kit from Sally's and it came with like you guys it was literally like a small ass botecito with like a little bit of acrylic barely enough for that full set and literally you guys I fucked it up so bad because I I didn't even know what I was doing I just bought the kit and I had no idea what I was doing literally I just bought the kit and then I had like some nail polish that I was gonna polish her nails and I told her I'm like hey are you down for me to do your nails like I don't know where I just got the idea she's like yeah um of course she's like and I'm like okay go to my house on this day and I go do your nails so I ended up doing her nails and they came out horrible it was like so bad um, but she like she liked them she liked them and like everybody in school was asking her like who did your nails especially because I put like crystals on it on her nails and they would like shine and it was when the crystals were barely coming out like the uñas sinaloenses were barely coming out we were like we were juniors in high school so we were like 16 yeah like 16 15 and um, and that was the only time I did it. I was like, okay, well, I have, like, I knew it was a little bit pricey and I obviously had no money to, like, invest in it. I mean, I was in high school. So I kind of just left it as that. Um, once I got older, I kind of pursued, you know, makeup more and my YouTube channel, obviously, this is what I do also. And then I just kind of stayed at a, at a, like, at a point where I wasn't, like, I was just comfortable with what I knew and whatever you know so all of a sudden I was like why not just learn how to do nails like I, ha I was gonna do my nails for Valentine's Day and I was like why am I gonna pay like it's not that I don't want to pay because it's worth it I mean I feel like nails are worth it um, but I'm just like why am I gonna pay like why not why don't I learn like if I'm over here you know if I ever learn I could just do it myself and you know I could do other people so you know, I started doing my research and I started really getting into it and I was like, this is something that I want to do. I started buying my, I bought little things here and there. So I started off with my practice hand. So let me show you guys. So I started off with my practice hand, which right now it has some nails on they look kind of weird because they're on the practice hand and the practice hand kind of has like weird fingers but basically i started off with that i bought like i bought a few acrylics from valentino which is these these are the first acrylic powders that i have that i, that I bought and they were actually um kind of hard for me to use because i didn't know how to use them so you know, I started off with that and then 
little by little you know i was like okay this is just for practice like if i actually enjoy doing it then you know i'm gonna take it a step further and then you know get some classes on it and invest more money into this new thing so i ended up just practicing and practicing and i, I liked it like i realized that i'm like okay i kind of like this so i was like okay now i think it's time to invest in a class so if you guys didn't know, I did take a class with Myra and she was so nice, so humble and she taught me everything she knew. Well, not everything, everything because obviously, you know, she knows she's been a nail tech for quite some years. So, you know, I feel like you learn as you go. I feel like as for anybody, you know, you're not just going to learn. It's not like, like for me that I know about makeup. I'm not going to teach you everything in a few videos you know like everything is just like a learning process i'm still learning um but you know she, i did learn a lot from her so you know when i went to the class um i was able to get like a, a small kit um which included a uh, monomer and then the powder um and then it came with a practice hand so, like the more most basic things that you can imagine and that's what I have right now. That's what I have. Um, and then um, little by little, like every week, I have been investing in little things like this top gel, this top coat gel. It's um, d and And, you know, I just buy little things here and there. I obviously cannot splurge and buy like millions of dollars of worth of nail stuff. Especially because, you know, in the beginning, I, I was just buying little by little because... I didn't know if I was actually going to pursue this or if it was just like me in my, in, in my loquera, you know? So right now that I am actually taking it more serious and I'm like, okay, this is something that I'm interested in. Like, this is something that I would like to make my full-time job. Obviously, I would never leave YouTube. I, I enjoy YouTube. I feel like it's very therapeutic. I've always said that. Like, sitting in front of a camera, I just feel like, especially because I don't have friends around, um, it's just very, like... Como que me desahogo. Even though I end up editing a lot of it, um, I just kind of like to talk it out, you know. So, you know, like I said, I do want it to become uh, my job eventually. So, you know, that's when I was like, okay, so I invested in the class, I invested in that. By the way, Sergio is very, very supportive. I'm very lucky because he's just always like super positive and sure. Like, literally, if I tell him that if I want to learn how to fly a plane, he'll be like, where do we sign you up for plane classes like for for you to learn how to freaking drive a plane like it's that that serious little by little um trying to like build up my um my um trying to build up like my i don't know how you would call it my kit i guess my kit there's millions of stuff that you can buy out there for your nails and i just feel like i bought the most basic stuff right now there's not many many stuff that i have um one thing that i did make a mistake on i went to a store nearby a local store here in vegas and i was like hey i'm like can you help me out i am actually looking to you know start doing nails and i was talking to the girl in the front and she's like okay well we can get you on the um generic stuff so she actually helped me out and I ended up purchasing this liquid monomer and then this, um, it's just like some clear, crystal clear powder. And this is something that it was so hard for me, you guys. Oh my God. Like I cannot, like once I tried the Mia Secret, it just made a complete difference rather than using this plus, um, somebody did tell me not to use this like it's the monomer i guess they're like never use that on your clients you know and i'm like okay like literally i just want to throw it away low-key i don't know if it has mma you know because i i do hear that you know things like that can have an mma i'm definitely not gonna be using this at all maybe to practice but i feel like why would i want to practice with this if i have this and this is something that i'm going to be using which if i'm going to practice then i should practice with something that i'm going to be using you know so yeah i'll probably end up just like keeping it because i don't want to throw it away but i don't think i'm going to be using this anymore um maybe this i don't think i don't have anything wrong with it but um as far as this yeah i'm not going to be using this um so that's something that i invested in, in some money in another some other things that I did invest my money in 
I went to the swap meet, you guys, and it was such a bad idea to get things from the swap meet. Never again. It came all in bolitas. And I can still use it, but it's just almost impossible for me to pick up a bead that doesn't have bolitas. Like, I don't know how to get rid of those bolitas. Um, it's just a acrylic god. I don't know if it's old, but it's just very hard to work with. So, I don't use it. But, you know, this is a mistake also that I made. I only bought, like, two botecitos. They had these. I saw them at the swap me, and I was like, oh, that actually, this one actually is not bad. It's, it's actually, like, very, it looks okay. I don't use it, but, like I said, I have them here. Um, so... I want to show you guys what I have bought today because today is actually my first day as you know me actually learning some stuff from the class that I took and I actually went uh, kind of shopping I mean I guess not really I don't because like I said I only had like limited amount of money so I bought what I could so I ended up buying of course the liquid monomer because this is what I really really liked when I was um, learning in the class um, I actually really like the system, the meal secret. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I was using the Valentino with this. That's why it wasn't working properly. I haven't tried it with the meal secret, but hopefully it works better. You know, like I said, I'm probably not. Gonna, I'm probably gonna be throwing this out. I don't really like it. Um, but definitely, like I noticed a big difference with this. Um, so I picked up. The, the monomer and then I picked up the cover nude blush the cover pink and the cover beige also I picked up the nail glue by Mia Secret I bought a lot of Mia Secret I was looking for the um, what is it called the other one and then I bought some cuticle oil and then I also bought these colors um, powders these acrylic powders. Um, let me know what brand of gel you guys recommend for me to buy. Um, just like for starting, because I know that D and D is is kind of pricey. Like that's I'm probably gonna have to invest in some anyways, but it is a little pricey. I think it's like ten dollars per bottle, but it comes with two. I think it comes with like the regular and then the gel, but. Kind of expensive um so i got these colors just because i was like well i'm gonna start you know doing nails here and there and i need to have some colors you know i cannot just be like oh yeah i'm gonna do your nails beige all the time you know so i decided to buy these i know that they're not like it's not too much and it's not like the best but um i decided to invest in some colors uh i actually used the the color cake today and it was really really pretty um the only thing i, I did notice is that you kind of have to like build it up because it kind of is like a little bit not patchy but it's kind of like not that pigmented so yeah it basically this one is a fruity fruity package so if you guys are interested it comes with like all right colors neons and like pinks but what else I actually had had this lamp it's well, Sergio it's Sergio's and I was like okay that would be perfect for my little desk the only thing is that it was a yellow light and we went to buy a bulb right now oh, I don't want to look at him in Candila and we went to go buy a, a bulb right now and it's actually pretty cool yellow yellow light daylight so um yeah that's something that i also just because i know that pictures are important you know to catch all the colors so i ended up just buying the bulb so like i said i'm investing little by little um every week i'm thinking of investing like in a chair just because especially right now that i'm pregnant like my back hurts so and when i'm practicing you know um i'm here for like 
two hours, an hour, and or when I'm doing someone's nails, you know, I'm here for an hour and a half, two hours, and my back does end up hurting. So I'm thinking of investing like in a chair right now for myself and then eventually obviously for the clients. Like I said, I, I'm little by little investing. I'm not going to go crazy um, just because I can't go crazy. But, you know, every week, you know, we do set money aside $100 each week, you know, and I buy little things here and there. So that's how I've been just buying my little stuff. And I do still need to practice a lot more. I just did my f very first full set today and I was pleased with how they came out the only thing is that I blamed the light I had no light in here except the one bulb that was on top and you guys um like I guess my shadow was like you couldn't see where the gel was going so she stuck her hand in the gel and when she took it out it was like it had dripped so it was kind of like on the side of her finger and <clears throat> that made the the nails look a little bumpy so that's something that definitely i ran to the store and i was like i need to have this bulb fixed so you know that's that should uh, fix the problem that way now i could see clear and you know everything can be more precise but yeah you guys i mean i think that that's it for this video i mean this is just the beginning so I'm planning obviously to start doing videos more nail re related but I'm not sure like what I mean it's not like I can teach you how to do nails because I'm still learning myself but if you guys would like to see more like I guess it's just kind of like a little talk and just kind of showing you guys what I have bought I don't know if I showed you guys my my little um, pencil my wax pencil for the for the crystals this is so much easier like I was picking it up with the back of my brush, my back of this brush, and you guys, it was so hard, like, I couldn't, like, it was just so, a pain in the ass, and then I ended up buying this one, and problem solved, like, such a big difference, so I'm pretty happy about this, and yeah, you guys, I mean, I think that's it for right now eventually you know i when i do go shopping more oh i don't know if i showed you guys that i bought these too and i actually ended up buying this is a 100 by 100 and this is a 220 by 280 um buffer and then the zebra so yeah they're both by me a secret and i really like this one to file and i really like this one to buff obviously but um yeah so i think that's gonna be it for today you guys um I obviously have tools. I have like a cuticle cutter and then I have scissors. You know, obviously I have corta uñas, things like that, you guys. And I have like a tip cutter. Um, but yeah, you guys, I mean, I think that's going to be it for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed sitting down and talking about nails um, and how I'm getting started and how, how everything is going. Like I said, right now I'm like practicing and you know, eventually I will start taking in appointments once I feel more confident about, you know, me leaving your nails cute and stuff. I mean, I don't feel like I do a bad job, but I just feel like I could do better. So I'm just like, I'm so anxious, like every single day I want to practice just because I want to get better. So yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give me a like, and turn on your post notifications for future videos. Also, don't forget to leave me video suggestions down below because I want to um, do more. And yeah, give me some ideas. Speak to you guys next time on the next video.